welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be using the Seaman Step 7 software. We're going to do a beginner's guide to getting started. So we're going to open up Step 7. We're going to use version 5.5 .5, and then we're going to open up the, the simulator. So we'll go in down here and we'll go to Siemens Automation. We're going to go to Somatic. And we're going to go open up the Somatic Manager. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to Siemens Automation. And we're going to go to Options and Tools. And then we're going to open up the S7 PLC Simulator. So we can just go ahead and minimize this for the moment. So the first thing we're going to do is you're going to have your Step 7 Wizard. We're going to create a new project. So we're going to go ahead and select next. We're going to use uh, 315F CPU. We're going to use uh, dual ports. Rename it. We're going to call it Tutorial 1. Address 2 is fine. We'll select next. The only thing we're going to need is we're going to need organizational block number one. And we're going to start out with ladder. Later we can get into STL and function block. We'll go ahead and select next. This is our project name. Project name will be tutorial one as well. Go ahead and that should be all we need. Go ahead and finish it. Your project will be created. Alright, we have a project tree, we have our station, we have our hardware, we have the CPU, we have the program file, which has your sources, and has your blocks. So here's the, the organizational block one that we need, this is the first one that gets scanned. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back up to our station. And we need to configure our hardware. We're going to add in a somatic net, which is uh, an industrial Ethernet module. And the only place it goes into four. So we'll go to somatic 300, since we're building this against a 300 processor. We're going to go ahead and go down to CP300. We're going to go to industrial Ethernet. We are going to want this first one here, which is 343-1. And then the module that we're going to use is going to be the one at, it's going to be the 1EX21. And I'm actually have version 1.3. I haven't updated any of this. We'll just go ahead and build it against two, which is fine, because we're not actually going to use it. But I wanted to show you how to set up your hardware. We need to change the default uh, IP address. We never want to leave it at 1. We'll go ahead and use 201. Later we can come down and figure what we're going to do from there, but right now we'll just use 201. So we're going to go ahead and make a new subnet with it. We're going to call it Automation Network. We're going to go ahead and select OK. Alright. Okay, now that it's down here, we can go ahead and put a network up here. So we're going to insert a Profinet I.O. system. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing here. Oops. Right here. We're going to create a new system master. We're going to call this our I.O. network. And we're just doing this for later tutorials, but I'm showing you how to set your hardware up. 1.5 is fine. We'll select OK. And then it put our IO net Profibus network in. OK. Basically, we don't need anything else from here. And later tutorials, we'll use this. Select Save. And then we're going to go ahead and close out the hardware configure. All right. We can go ahead and come straight down here and get started. 
We have your organizational block. This is the, like I said, this is the first block that gets scanned and executed. So what we'll do is we could go ahead and do our ladder in here and it would work fine but we're going to go ahead and only use this as an organizational block. So we'll go ahead and close this one out. Instead we're going to right click and we're going to insert a new object and we're gonna, we want to put in a function block. We'll go ahead and uh, we can call this line 1. We're going to create the language under ladder. If you want to put in a comment, you can. And just say packing line one. Basically, that's all we're going to need. Just select OK. We'll change our view in here so that we view and list. And right here's your symbolic name. It says it's want for line one. So we can go ahead and open this up. And you have the start for uh, your function block. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our organizational block. So we're going to need to call that from the organizational block. And to since you already have that one in, we can go over here to our FC where we had it. There's line one. We're going to drag it out and we're going to drop on the first rung. Now when it comes in your organizational block, the first thing you have to do is it's going to scan your function block. So now we can go back and open up our function block. And we'll put in a simple routine. Let's use memory bit for right this second. So m1.0. And then we'll use m1.1. That's good. We'll go ahead and save this. We'll go ahead and minimize the screen. We'll go up here, back to our block, make sure it's saved. Close it. Okay. Now, to, in order to use the simulator to test this out, we're going to need to first go to options and we're going to check the simulate modules. Now, if you already started your simulator, it'll already be checked. But if you haven't, you can check it, and it'll go ahead and it'll start it up. It'll go through its cycle, and now it's ready. And that that's all you have for that. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and download this to our simulator. With the download button right here. And then we'll also download this. Yep, we'll go ahead and override it. So everything's been everything's been downloaded to the processor. So we can go ahead and open up this function block, or we'll be able to modify it and see it actually running. And we're gonna go down here to a simulator. We'll open it up. We'll go from we're in stop. We need to go to run program, and now it's running. Now. In order to view it actually work here, we're going to go up here to this fancy eyeglasses. And we're going to go ahead and select it. And now it shows that you're online and you're online with the simulator. So go right here and we're going to go ahead and right click. And then we'll scroll down to where it says modified to 1. And we update the routine and M1.1 became active. Alright, now we'll simulate two modules. We're going to use an input module, and we're going to use an output module, and we're going to use it in the simulator. So we'll go ahead and modify this back to a zero. And we can go ahead and go offline with this. We'll go over here to our simulator, and then we're going to go up here, and we're going to add our input module, and then we're going to add an output module. So we'll be able to use these two modules by using the addresses that are right here and operate them. So we're going to go ahead and change this. We're going to go ahead and change this to I 0, point zero. Enter. 
And then we'll change this one to Q. Zero point zero. Select enter. And we'll go ahead and we'll download this now to the simulator. Yes, we want to go ahead and override it. Let's go online and monitor this block. So now if you go over here to your input module and you put a check mark and zero. So I zero point zero. When we activate when we when we change this condition to true, it'll go ahead and it will uh, update our output and energize our uh, output over here on our card, which is Q0.0. .0. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And there you have it. We use a simulator. We simulated an actual input card. And then we simulated the output and sent the output out your simulated output card. That's going to wrap up this tutorial. In our next tutorials, we'll start with uh, counters and timers. And show you the differences between STL, ladder, and FBD. But for now, we'll go ahead and end this as our first startup tutorial. This will get you started to where you'll be able to play and get familiar with Siemens Step 7 software version 5.5. Thank you for watching.